Hello, I just wanted to make a video reviewing the Sateki Bluetooth mouse. I know there's already um, review videos out there and you know all the Amazon reviews and whatnot, but I noticed some differences between what the reviews said and what I actually noticed with the mouse. Nothing big, but just some small things. Um, so let's get into it. I got the mouse because I wanted something to match the old aluminum Apple Cinema display, um, but also be a little bit more functional than what Apple offers. The older Apple Mighty Mouse, um, which I have down here, has this tiny little scroll ball thing, really not that useful, um, especially after you know years of use. They haven't made these things for a while now. It's just all worn out. Um, and there's no dedicated left and right. If you just do the right click, it does have a sensor there to give you the right click. But if you're, say, playing a game, um, you know, if computer game sorts, you're not going to have the two left and right options. Um, so I just want something a little bit newer um, that had those problems solved. So I found this um, online one to give it a try. What I like about it is the color of the aluminum and the white match the display really well, um, especially next to the Apple wired keyboard. The Apple wired keyboard of the era of this display was actually the old plastic white one. So this is a little bit newer than the display. So here's some things I like about this mouse. Uh, I think it matches the Aluminum display really well. Um, the color of the aluminum and the white on the side do match really well. Also, of course, the Apple wired keyboard. Um, the Apple wired keyboards from the era of this display were actually those old plastic white ones. Um, so this is a little bit newer. It just matches better. I also like that there's no logo on the top um, that say Sateki or whatever. On the bottom, of course, it's got a label saying it. But that way, when it's sitting, on the desk next to the other stuff. It looks like it could have been an Apple product. Um, it, looks, it looks like it matches really well. Uh, maybe someday I'll get some speakers to match too. Um, Apple didn't make any. I just have these Sony ones that are sitting around the house and they do the job fine enough. Um, it works great. I've had no problems with dis ah, with no problems with dis ah, geez, I can't talk. No problems with disconnecting. Um, it scrolls around just fine. Um, the knurled control wheel, I read on some reviews that people disliked it for whatever reason. They said it was sharp and hurt their fingers to use. I have no idea what they're talking about. It's fine. It's perfect. Um, the left and right buttons work fine. I use it for, you know, just, of course, basic computer stuff. Um, nothing too intense. Probably the highest usage it gets is I like to plug into this display a Dell XPS laptop because it's got a pretty decent uh, graphics card for what it is and um, just play some uh, computer games, nothing too crazy, I mostly just play RPGs like uh, with this mouse I've done Cyberpunk, I've done Fallout 4 and it does that just fine, I can't see why it wouldn't work with uh, I don't know, anything else um, also, I really like the USB-C charging on the back there. Uh, for one, it's nice that it's USB-C um, because that's just more and more things are using USB-C, and then you don't have to have some silly, uh, you know, micro USB laying around just to charge your mouse. Um, and it's nice that it's on the back instead of like the Apple Magic Mouse, where you have to lay it on its back like that to charge it. Um, that being said. I've had this mouse for a while now, and I haven't had to charge it, um, and I haven't gotten any warnings about low battery or anything, so that's pretty awesome. A few things I dislike about the mouse is it is lightweight and it's small. Um, because it's lightweight, it just kind of doesn't feel as heavy duty and as durable. It just doesn't doesn't have like that Apple built quality for sure. Um, I'm not saying it feels cheap, but just feels a little bit too light, and just in, in the hand using it, I wouldn't mind if it was a little bit heavier. Also, it's a little bit small. A lot of the reviews I read, or excuse me, some of the reviews I read, mentioned 
the size, and they made it sound like it was tiny. Um, like you could barely fit your hand around it because you know, you'd be squeezing it like that. Maybe people with huge monster hands wrote those reviews, wrote those reviews but I haven't noticed it be uncomfortable to use. It's fine. Um, it is smaller than this and lighter, of course. It looks real similar, but let me hold them up side to side like that. I don't even know if I can show you on the camera, but this just, even though it looks almost the same, it's noticeably bigger, and I like that. Um, the weight and the size are great for throwing in your bag, taking it with you to use with your iPad or your laptop when you're on the go. I just wish they made a heftier version for desktop use. Um, what, else, what else do I have for you? I can't talk to you. In summation, I am pleased with this mouse. I don't regret the purchase. I would recommend others, especially those that have um, Apple hardware they're trying to match the mouse with and don't want the limitations provided by the or the limitations that come along with the Mighty Mouse or the Magic Mouse, like the left and right buttons, the scroll wheel, etc. Um, I've even been thinking about replacing this Apple wired keyboard with a Sateki one. They make ones that look really, really similar. Since I've gotten this keyboard, I got it used and it worked fine and I got it. But some of the buttons on the left have stopped working, which is really annoying. Um, so I've been thinking about replacing it with the Sateki one because as I've been reading about the Apple keyboard, those buttons randomly not working. It's not a freak accident, that just kind of happens to these keyboards. I uh, wish I had known before I bought it. Um, so, the Sateki one, they make some that look exactly like the Apple one. Unfortunately, the ones that look pretty much um, identical to this are only Bluetooth, and I kind of prefer wire wired keyboard um, because it's just a little bit easier, especially when you're um, working on projects that mess with the BIOS or um, different drivers, this or that. Um, also, the one that looks identical to the Apple keyboard, it's a little bit darker aluminum and it has black keys, so it matches really well with the Space Gray Max out there. Um, they do have a wired white one, but the keys are just a little bit different looking it doesn't entirely match, but I think it'll still go pretty well with the display and the mouse. Um, let me know if you have any questions. Uh, thanks for watching.